So in the H910, the audio is first compressed at, on this card right here at a ratio of two to one. Here's the DBX303 card. You can see this card is, well, actually this is a slightly different version than this card, but they do the same thing. This can be wired to be a compressor or an expander, depending on how you hook up these pins to the rest of the unit. They're buffered by IC1, which is essentially four 741 op amps in one chip. And then the input signal is mixed with signal coming through the feedback pod, which is essentially just the output of the unit. So we are mixing the input signal with the output signal if the feedback pod is up. The output of that is sent to this IC, which is IC0. That is buffered once again. So we have our signal that goes from the terminal strip through this IC, or well, first the transformer if it's there. This one, is, it isn't. Most of them don't have transformers. It is uh, buffered by this IC, and then it's mixed with the output signal through the feedback pot and this IC right here, as you can see in the schematic. At that point, it enters the DBX card through pin two. Now, something about these DBX cards that's interesting, if you're a huge dork like me, is that pin two is actually pin eight on the earlier versions. Why? I simply don't know. It begins with seven and ends at 18. The, I usually just go with pin two is the input, pin six is the output. So it's actually pin eight is the input, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, pin 12 is the output. Don't stop listening now. So the audio has been buffered. It has been mixed and it is now in the DBX card. And when we tune this properly, it will be compressed at a ratio of two to one as explained earlier. 